What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Josue. And if this is your guys' first time watching, please do us a favor hit that subscribe, give this episode a like, share it. It helps us out tremendously. Uh, first on the agenda, folks shots. 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 What are we drinking here, Danny? Some uh, Sailor Jerry. Cheers. Sailor Jerry, Rob. Smooth. It's always smooth. I like Sherry Jerry. It's good. Yeah. Oh. How you guys doing? What's up? Well, yeah, we're just going a little hard. We're just going a little hard to paint going today. Hard. <laughs> going hard today. <laughs> Dad, how you doing, man? How you doing? I'm you all right. Doing? You know, I'm doing good. You know, you know, Josh. I'm happy my kids are back in school. Uh, dude. Amen, dude. My kids went back today too. Yeah, they all went back. Yeah. It's all quiet again, bro. I was like, what? Strange, huh? Yeah. I didn't realize my kids were off for three weeks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah same here. Yeah. It's three weeks. I don't remember our Christmas breaks being that long. It was like two. Yeah. Maybe, I think. maybe, maybe two. That. Was it two? I don't remember. One or two. I think it was like you got the week of Christmas and then like New Year. That was something I like kind of like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Well, we used to get two weeks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was like two weeks. And now, they, now it's now three. Now they get three weeks. That's crazy. What are you doing to us? Keep hey, them there. You know what, though? It's getting better. It's getting better. Right? Is it? Is it? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean what are we, we talking we about? We went here? from two weeks to three weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, hey, you yeah. know, now they got three. Well, know? for me, if it went from two to one, it'd be better. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Try to get these kids out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Right? I love them. I love you guys. So, uh, Daddy loves you. We uh, sent out some songs to be uh, mixed and mastered. Yeah, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. So, uh, we sent some song gals to be mixed and mastered. <laughs> I'm so glad oh. we just said the same thing. I mean, you know what I said? There I mean, you go. We, we did that. We did it all night, folks. In case you didn't uh, hear Danny the first two times, <laughs> tip your waitress on the way out. We got some songs to match. We got three songs to three, be specific. Right we now. said three, yeah. So we're yeah. doing three, and then we got a few more on kind of on deck. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, hell yeah, so, dude. That's what's up. Stay tuned for all that. You know. Yeah. yeah. Anything else going on? What are what's, we doing? What's what the dude's name that that does our stuff? Marvin. Marvin. Marvin the Martian. Yes. Florida aliens, guys. Let's talk. See, see how I got connected all that? I Florida know, aliens. Okay, let's go with it. <laughs> Marvin the Martian, aliens. Florida yeah. aliens. So There's uh, been a wild story about Florida aliens, man. Yeah, because it's funny because like even in our group here, like I think two of us heard the the alien story and then the other two heard that it was like the some kids. disturbance at a mall. Yeah. It's kind of just kind of crazy. That's literally the only two narratives going out of that story right, right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, like, it's, yeah, it's uh, bonkers. Uh, so... The story is, what the cops are saying is that it was a disturbance with some kids at the, somebody, I think they said somebody pulled a gun or there was a rumor that there was a gun there. Yeah, there was some fighting and breaking yeah. things or something like that. Was so, so, apparently that called for, what, like 200 fucking cops that were just parked out there, too? That was, a lot that was at least 50 cop cars. That was a grip. I mean, yeah, minimum 50, right? I mean, it, yeah. it was a lot. Yeah. yeah. I haven't. I haven't seen, like... Police surround something like that for, at that level. Because well, you know I think like, I think they were saying too that they had response of it being like an active shooter situation. Yeah, well, maybe it was saying. like they were filming footage for GTA Six. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, hey, the that's only just thing. DLC, dude. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like they have to just be like, thank you. Now we know what kind of entrance we're gonna need. They have they have the ending to a whole storyline. Bro, I think they just the mall, I bro. think they just made the ending of their game. That's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So, so so I guess anyways. But people claim that we're there. There was like eyewitnesses claiming that there were big, tall, nine, ten foot tall aliens. I just want to let you know I was around. in Southern California the whole time. <laughs> Rob was accounted me. for. Wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the, there was one guy that was talking about uh, it would the creature he saw would like glitch out when it would move and different stuff. Yeah, and just kind of bizarre. If you are in a situation where you see aliens 100, 200 feet in front of you, or whatever the fuck, are you taking the time to pull your phone out and videotape this? Or are you fucking bolting? Because uh, I'm my ass is running, dude. I'm not worried about getting that shit on film. Ten foot tall. Alien? <laughs> I'm, I'm, probably, I'm probably walking the other way. But if it was like alien, like something like cute, I'd probably be like, oh, what's happening? Temple alien. 
with titties? No, no, like oh, like cute little furry creature alien. Oh, okay. I like, thought you like, meant like yeah. alien cheeks clapping them up. You know? No, I wasn't. Well, we're not talking about alpha draconians. We've been there before. <laughs> alpha draconians, bro. Like, is, is this what we saw? Are they were these our alpha? Are draconians? these the alpha draconians, bro? Possibly, possibly, we're quite back. possible. We're back on uh, the alpha draconians. Ten foot beans. You know? Isn't that kind of what was talked about that those people saw in like Vegas, though? Yeah, it's very it's, similar. Yeah, the the one with the from the dude in the backyard you're talking yeah, about, yeah. Yeah, and they yeah. said they filmed it, and people were like, "Oh, there's something." I didn't really see, like a, you know, so an ten alien. foot tall alien. You're running, cute ones taking a picture. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if the call was phoned in by Mr. J.J. J. Abrams himself. Yeah, getting footage. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, right. Would you take the time to videotape one or, or run, Josh? Am I alone or with family? Uh, let's say you're Cloverfield alone, style. You're with three other friends. <sighs> plot twist. It's not us. It's <laughs> like plot twist. It's not us. Well, then there's like only one other. F- no, nah, I do have three other friends. <laughs> I just think, like, do I even have that many friends? I have another friend. No, I'm right? running. Somewhere. Somewhere. I'm running. Like I'm yeah. not asking questions. What about you? You're eye to eye with this ten foot alien. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a family <laughs> reunion. <laughs> You're looking down on this 10-foot alien. <laughs> so I meet this 10-foot alien in a bar, right? Uh, I don't know. It depends on what the what's best for the Commonwealth. Like, if you see people fucking just running and bailing on their children, like, fuck me, I gotta save myself. And like, fuck that. Like, save everybody. You're gonna save the children? Try to save as many people as you can at that point. Running by, putting running. kids in his beard and shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Just eat them. I'll throw them up when I get there. <laughs> How many kids can Rob fit in his beard? Feel Seven. Like- <laughs> Just in there like little baby kangaroos and shit, dude. Yeah, don't get any ideas about putting children in my beard. <laughs> I was waiting to see how far yeah, this was going to go. Like, uh, <laughs> we refrain from children in the mouth. Uh, for sure. So you Alpha Jaconians. Alpha Jaconians, dude. Do you, wanna, do you want to go to the next story? Uh, I, think, I just think that... I think this possibility was aliens, dude. I'm going to say that we're going to have... We're going to come back to this. And it'll right? be like another story about it. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be more You don't think it's like shit. a parody off of what really happened? I, I think something did happen. Don't get me wrong. For some that kind of disturbance for you to pull out fifty cop cars. Well, it come, makes sense if they there was calls that it was an active shooter. I think you'd have you know shit ton of cop cars come if it was an active shooter situation, right? The full force though. I'm just, Every space force, dude. <laughs> space force too, bro. Space Force, space Force is showing there, up. Dude. You need well, space Force Well, I mean, there. it is Florida, right? It is Florida, dude. They did have that nightclub shooting not too long ago. Uh, yeah, I did. get it, but... So it's maybe just because of... Set them all, You dude. think every cop car lined up in a road to the point where you can't move is a good <laughs> strategy. Well, there was no... no. I was, when I saw it, I was like, click. did they get out of the cars is, and walk three right? blocks to get there? Like five? That is, that is kind of weird that they were lined up like that. <laughs> Yeah, you said something about a projection that it was, like it was being projected. Well, I saw so I saw videos where people were claiming there was some kind of a video where something something's moving in the image, but it's you know it's always grainy. And there were people. I saw one dude claiming that there was like a projector in you know off in the distance that you could see that was projecting the alien. Yeah, that's what he was claiming. So I, you know, I you know, it's hard to tell these days, man. With with news and social media, it's just like I said. All four of us walked in and had a, com- you know, we had completely different takes on what that situation was. It just amazes me, like, all the technology we have. And as great as cameras are these days, you can take a picture. We don't have any pictures of aliens. As soon it? as it's aliens, dude, it's like somebody took something off a fucking flip phone in 2001. You know, like, what the fuck is this? It's never like, a Samsung. <laughs> like, it's never a Samsung phone owner, you know? Right? That's what I'm saying, dude. Samsung, bro. For life. <laughs> But I think I think we're gonna hear about more about this. Yeah. I think these aliens are gonna pop up all over, you know? Yeah. So sponsored by Tesla. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bro, so another great story that happened is this dude in Alabama. Apparently he went to a Bass Pro shop 
strips ass naked. As you do. As you do. We'll jumps into some, the uh, tank. Get some little candy, you know? Yeah. Uh, jumps into the tank. And then as he's trying to get out, slips and knocks himself out. And then, like, cops just, like, jump on top of him to, like, hank of him while he's knocked out. And then there's a point in the video where he, like, comes to and he just, like, starts flopping around because he's like, what the fuck are there people on so top just of like me? like a fish? <laughs> like, so he's just naked flopping around. Uh, is there a video of this? There is video of this. This would probably be a pretty damn fun video. How much does the video cost? <laughs> you guys, to the screen, guys. <laughs> the last days of work, guys. No, I don't Subscribe. want to see this. No, don't flash the screen. <laughs> we shouldn't show this. Like, So, so, so dude jumped into the uh, fish thing. Uh, fish. <laughs> what were we doing? Is he fishing? You get a fish or what? What are we doing? I don't know. I did, just naked jumping? It seems to be the thing that people do the most at uh, Bass Pro Shop is jump into that tank, not get naked. So it's so it's illegal to do this, right? I would assume so. You're going to get arrested? But what I want to know is how the fuck Bass Pro Shop put in a fucking swimming pool in their store and expected nobody ever to go in it. I mean, you it's filled with like fish store. in there, dude. You can fish in their store. Why are you fucking yeah. just get a pole? See, I say... Let the fuck around and find out. Throw a couple of gators in that bitch. Then, you then know you wouldn't fish. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be fishing anymore. Change You'd be gator. The Change the game up, you know? Yeah. Or Whatever. they just have a button where they release the gator. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody jumps in. <laughs> gator. The yeah, giant one you. that they've been breeding in the back comes flowing out. Gator oh. alarm goes off. I was like, that'd be dope, dude. Gator alarm. Would you jump in into the Bass Pro Shop water? Rob, would you jump into the Bass Pro Shop water to save kids from the gator? Close uh, on. Uh, Close on. <laughs> Close on, please. Would I? Are you saving the kids in the Bass Pro Shop water? You said you'd save them from Tell Alfred Draconians. Alfred Draconians, bro. That's a little different. It's a 50 pound fish in there. It ain't yeah. Alfred Draconian. Uh, it's a whole nother atmosphere I'm not too familiar with. <laughs> so I get wet. <laughs> I'm going to be fish, like, fish I'm really gonna be like, like Jason Statham in the fucking, yeah. in the Meg. I wouldn't jump know. In there. You wouldn't jump in either? Yeah. And uh, I just, knowing that there's fish swimming around me like that, that's why I don't fuck with the ocean, dude. Yeah. Like, really? nope, don't, nope. I'd have, you'd have to get me drunk, and there'd have to, you'd probably have to get up some money, and I'd probably do it. I'd jump in there. You know what we're doing next week, folks? <laughs> Live at Bass Pro Shop. Live at Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Josh? You jumping in? To save a kid or just in general? Just in general. <laughs> we'll go with just in general. Like, you don't jump in. Get that one. <laughs> get the severity of it. Like, which way are we going? Uh, we're just giving Rob all the moral dilemmas today. <laughs> In the tank for money, yeah, I'd do it. Just because I know there's no bottom, I'm not afraid of a fish. You think you could I, jump in and catch a fish by barehanded? Fuck is going on? You don't think you could? You don't think you could? I could. And like, like if you dove in, aiming for a fish, you think you could grab that motherfucker before he took off? Well, how big is a the fish? They say it's a fifty-pound fish. Whoa, that's a big fucker. It's a big fish. Tackle that dude. And he brought it in. Punch it. Punch it, dude. He walked out with the 50 pound fish. Wow. Sweet. He walked out with it? Yeah, he just said, he This is it? mine. What? Did he cook it? A Was different that shit man. Good? A different man stole a 50 pound from the pond. From the store. Okay, that's pond. a different guy. Because I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, so you can't so go you fishing. Don't fucking touch him. Yeah. I caught this fish with my fish. I'm walking you, out with this fish. Somebody said they, they do use it for fishing. You can actually fish there? They have, I think it's once a month on the weekends, they have, I guess it's called casting learning. There's a little cat Where thing? you can take your kids and they have the pond inside there and there's little catch and release fish, little okay. trouts that you can teach your son how to use But you're not supposed pole. to be catching their 50 but, pounders, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to catch their special fish that are in the tank over there. They have like a certain tank that uh, you do. Because, I always think about like, because they always, you know, they're all catch and release, you know, it, we're, we're being as humane as possible, we're throwing the fish back. And then I think about that poor little fish in there just fucking holes all up in its cheeks like fuck. Yeah, you don't want to get stop. the fish from there. You don't want to. We got some for free and like when we had to clean it, there was still hooks in the guy's mouth from oh, other people who had damn. caught him and they didn't take it out. Poor so, guy. Yeah. Unless he was a goth fish. He probably liked it. That, that's like the shark from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> with the fucking hook with the fish fish oh, he's got the hook in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. What uh, did you want to? Did you? What, we, what is that next subject right there? Can you scroll up a little bit, please? Driveway theft in Florida. What the fuck is going on in Florida? Florida's wild, like, holy dude. shit! Like, Florida's just I'm banging, sorry, man. man. Yeah, I so, feel like 
rock stars is like, hey, you guys, you guys want material for 2024? Watch this. And then we're going to turn it into a game for next year to come out. And like, oh, I don't want to play this shit. Like, <laughs> Please don't make this a reality to make your game. Like, right. And they're, they're doing just that. That'd be cool if they were secretly just doing wild scenarios in Florida just to have video game content. I'd be like, look, it's relevant. Well, like this one, man. Friggin' somebody stole somebody's driveway in Florida. No I'm, assuming, I'm assuming that has to be like a contractor fucked up and demoed the wrong driveway, right? She said it occurred after strange contractors visited her property. Well, yeah, they fucking... Were they strange or just not contractors because she wouldn't... Or are they just like, digging up somebody's <laughs> driveway and being like, being like, hey, you need a new one, right? right? <laughs> Fuck. Imagine they just strange rip it out first. Contract. Hey, we saw you needed a fucking... <laughs> you need a driveway, right? <laughs> a driveway, right? We just happened to have one in the back of our truck. Looks just like your old one. That's messed up. 50 bucks. <laughs> we'll put it back. We'll put bucks. it back. I'd be kind of mad if I came home. My driver was gone. Dude, I, dude, I, I say, do you like the beach? I guarantee you that that's happened before, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure it has. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People come over and demo like yank a roof off a house. I'm sure it's happened. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I uh, her name was Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> what too soon? Uh, no, we don't want to talk about that. Yeah, no. Um, Florida needs to relax. Is the moral of the story, guys? Fuck yeah, it. Florida needs to chill. With they chill that. fuck out, dude. You are aliens? you from Florida? Leave a comment if you're from Florida and tell us your craziest Florida story you got. <laughs> they just go, DeSantis. Say <laughs> less. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Sorry. We get it, dude. You know, he's, what I mean? he's, a, he's a strange one. <laughs> <guy. laughs> that video you sent me with him <laughs> just staring all fucking crazy <laughs> at that kid, that kid huh? for like. Uh, Bro, I was like, dude, he stared <laughs> at that kid for 19 seconds with this smile. <laughs> I would have been, that kid should have been. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like, what? Are you okay, Doug? It's, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. Uh, weird, that's crazy. Weird bird. Strange dude. Jaw, Jack. Uh, you guys want to do some hot takes? Sure. Want to do some hot takes? What do we got? What do we got next? You want to do that after the break? What? Are we supposed yeah. to? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That oh, no. We still have stuff there. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> no, that breaking. Go ahead. Go ahead, Danny. Let's say, because which hot take are you one? talking about? That one or that one? Wait. So, uh, our enemies, uh, they split with uh, Jeff Loomis. Um, Thank you, sir. So, that's a fun one. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think about that, Rob? Are you an Arch Enemy fan? Arch Enemy. The band? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Old school style. Yeah. Welcome to the conversation, Rob. No, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was what are we talking about? Uh, departure it's, of Jeff Loomis from Arch Enemy. It's kind of a big part of the band. Okay. What is he... Um, so I I'll say it. What does he do in the band? He does stuff, plays <laughs> guitar. Oh, okay. You know? Is he yeah, that their songwriter? Do their songwriter? He's one of their songwriters, yeah. and he's departed from the band. So. Oh, okay. So they yeah. can't... I couldn't name an Arch Enemy song right now if you asked me, if I, tr if I had to, if it, my life depended on it. Also, uh, Bring Me the Horizon uh, departed with their keyboard player, Jordan Fish. What if they swapped? Weird, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, they start a band together. Oh, I think this is the guy I mistake for being mostly the songwriter, right? Was, yes. It's this, uh, it's this well, one. yeah, I, I, I was hearing that Jordan Fish had a big part yeah. in uh, writing for them. And uh, so the big Good. thing was they have a new single coming out. So it was kind of like, how how is it going to be with the new single? Yeah. Is it, are we, you know, are we still... He's not place? a part of that new single? No. I, no? His, okay. He wasn't, so he wasn't, he had no credits on the song. So everybody's kind of assuming that he didn't have much to do with it. Because yeah. I figured he would have had credits on it. You yeah, know? Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So uh, did you guys check the song out? Oh, I did. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. We'll, we'll mix it in with the with their right. re music review of their uh, <laughs> latest single, Kool-Aid. Um, Josh, what did you think of Kool Aid? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like a taste, especially the red. Um, it was all right. I don't really see too much of a difference with not having Jordan in it because it still sounds like so, sounds some like of him. his influence with what he adds to the songs. Uh, there's some screaming in there, so it's kind of their older style of music, but. Compared to the other stuff they've been releasing, I like this more than what they have of late. It's not too clubby, dancey. It's kind of heavy. Okay. 
but I still prefer their older albums. Yeah, they they've been recently doing some stuff like that. That's a little kind of clubby, dancey, and poppy, and it's kind of refreshing to see this song. I guess refreshing like Kool Aid. Oh shit! That's, maybe that's why they called it Kool Aid. Oh, it's refreshing, right? That's, oh yeah. Uh, I like the song as a whole. There was there was there's like a yeah, you don't have to call me that like a buzzing sound or there's something going on in the song that's just real it's like a static sound that kind of overpowers the whole song to me like it's there all the way through yeah and so and they just it, have like a drone yeah running. I don't know what it's, that's exactly what it sounds like yeah, to me it's a drone. so I don't know it's a are you yeah. being serious no, no it's, it's it's what it's it's a drone yeah, yeah it's a drone sound so. Other than I mean, other than that though, I did like the song. It was just that one thing where it's just like I kind of wish that sound would go away. Other yeah. than that, yeah. Rob, <laughs> I don't know what he's laughing about. It's uh, kind of how I feel about kids. I just wish that sound would go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a good song. Uh, I I dug it, um, but I do find it a little weird. Like I know that there's enough time in production going into a song in the writing process and putting it all together and finalizing it before you even drop it. And then for this guy to say, I'm out. And hey, they dropped a new song and he didn't have any influence on it. Like, I don't know. I, it's more of like, let's see what else comes out after this. Oh well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's more like uh, Hey, this will be a, like a farewell for you. Like your mm-hmm. last song. Good luck. Yeah. But the only the interesting thing about that is like like he was saying is that he's not in the uh I hear he's not in the credits in the, the credits of the song. So that's that's why some people were saying the like speculating he wasn't speculating part of he didn't it. have much of a part of it because he's not credited on it. So I'll yeah. wait till it comes from the horse's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess so. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, man. Uh did you want to do this hot take really quick? All right. Sure. The you want to do one of these or you want to do the one on the screen? Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Card. This one's not relevant anymore because they did stop teaching cursive in schools. So that was. I like that one either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Would you guys rather go? I don't know if it's much of a hot. Oh, the hot take is you they would rather Danny's go. These cards. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. These were your cards. These were Danny's cards. Read that one, Danny. I'd rather go on a vacation to the mountains than the beach. What do you think about that? Yes, because I don't like the beach. Okay. What about you? Mount, you mountains or you beach mountain guy? Man? If I'm vacationing, mm-hmm. beach. Okay. If you're hiding from the government, mountains. Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm living, we take to the woods. <laughs> we take to the woods. Get in them hills. You know what I'm saying? No, but uh, vacationing. 100. No kids, drinks. Beach. I'd rather swim up to my fucking bar. Yeah. There you go. What about you, Daddy? Uh, beach. Beach? I go beach. Depends if you have kids or not. Yeah. Because if there's no <laughs> kids, then I'll I'd do I'd rather beach. go to the mountains with my kids. Yeah. if one gets lost, we can leave them behind. <laughs> I don't care about one of them drowning. Uh, they'll make it back home. They're like dogs. <laughs> I don't mind hanging at the beach. I just don't, I won't fuck with the water. I don't go into the water. Yeah. Yeah. There's other so, stuff to do. Yeah. You know, you know, build a sandcastle or something. Yeah, shit. you know, ride a beach cruiser. Have you been to like uh, the Same beaches things. in Hawaii? Be- be- there's beaches in Hawaii. I'm just kidding. What happened? <laughs> go ahead. Wait. What? I was going to say there's beaches in Hawaii. Yeah, that yeah, part. I, yeah, it was okay. a joke. Go. But the beaches in Hawaii, like, you look down, you can still see your feet. It's not like Southern California beaches where you're like, is that a condom? <laughs> Why are you walking barefoot at the beach in California? Oh, one of the reasons. I just think it was a seashell that stabbed me. One of, the reasons, one of the reasons why I don't fuck with the beach anymore. One, one time we were kids, we went to Rosarito. We we're just having a blast. You get Chilling that. there. <laughs> having a good time in the water. Look down about fucking not even like 30 feet, dude. This kid's just dumping, dude. Just pants down, dumping in the water, dude. And I'm like, that's it for me. <laughs> like, I'm good. Come out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's probably cleaner there than in the bathroom. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Dude, beach bathrooms? I No. They scare the shit out of me, dude. I don't like them. Yeah, when not, well, when not you fun. walk in and find a porno mag? 
don't know, I don't know what's the obsession with not giving stalls doors in beach bathrooms. That's what? weird. Wait, what? The, Where every, are you dude, going? I, I just went to the beach uh, not that long ago for Andrew's birthday. Okay, that and there's one a, shower that's out on the sand. Not You're the not shower, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that was not the You're not supposed to use that for your personal cleaning. No. That's supposed to end up your feet. Down. <laughs> he's, he's looking. My shitting in the fucking down the hole, fucking squashing it down. Like it, no, Brooks there's. His teeth. They waffle, their, waffle, stop it. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. They Some had their bathrooms like in the that. inside, and it's like it's always like the one metal urinal, and then there's like a little wall, and then you go down for the for you know for the toilets or the stalls. But there's there's never any doors there. So in order for you to see if the if a stall's being you used, you have to take running, that chance of you're just fucking making eye contact with somebody just dump it, dude. It's happened what more times. Yeah. This? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. There was let's, a pier. Let's try to. There was a pier. That helps. You shouldn't peer in at all. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to assume someone's in these and I'm just going to shit yeah. on your roof. Like, <laughs> oh, man. It's no bueno, dude. I don't like it. Uh, Do another hot take, Rob. Or room. Josh. Go, Josh. A little bit, Josh. Go. Rock and roll is dead. Yep. 100%. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Answers that one. Yeah. Oh, this one's a good one. New York is better than LA. Oh, I've never been to New York, so I can't I've never really been judge. to New York, so I can't, I can't answer really that. Judge that one. Well, you did. You've been you've been to New York, right? Uh, New York, no, I've been around. Uh, I, I would say, in my opinion, though, I would say definitely L.A. in the summer and possibly New York winter. I kind of would want to experience winter in New York. That's as what well. I would go with yeah. on that. Um, but I'm definitely an L.A. guy. Yeah. So yeah, L.A. sun. What's up? What about you, Rob? Uh, in LA, they're nice, but in New York, they're kind. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so essentially, like, the people are, you know, nice, they're kind, like, they're just being like, oh, hey, how you doing? Love you. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And then they leave you with whatever problem you have. And you're like, well, that was you know, nice, but I'm still stuck with this fucking problem. People on the East Coast from New York will be, you know, they're kind. They'll talk shit to you like, what are you fucking stupid? And like, ah, oh, but yeah, I know. Let's, let me show you how to fucking do this, fix this. And there you go. Get on your fucking way. Be happy. Love you. Later. And you're like, oh, that was very kind. There's a difference between L.A. and New York. I've always had people from New York are dicks, dude. Well, I'm just gonna stop people from LA. We're dicks. I mean, I've, I mean, I've been to LA. And people are pretty fucking. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, people are assholes. There you go. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, we dude. we suck in large groups. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa! What are we talking about here? Today? Oh, just people. Like, like, like we just... all suck in large groups. Like, called okay. orgies. No. So explain <laughs> explain this large group. No, I mean just sucking at life, like. There's a bunch of people that just like you fuck up in life at some point and you're just like, ah, oh, that was a bad decision. But you know what? I'm not gonna do that again. But you fucked up. Like, so you get put in this group. But I'm just saying there's a bunch of people just fucking up in life and it's like, oh fuck. Some people can't stop fucking up. Yeah, that some people fuck up and run for president. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still keep of them. Them, like, oh. <laughs> I think that's a pre resident, isn't it? <laughs> like uh, if you don't come out and say like hey okay i fucked up especially with all the shit that's going on like hey there's about to be some blowback from all this fucking pedo island shit being <laughs> exposed i mean you're gonna have to hear from some celebrities or some campaigns like uh we had no intent or action it's just like you better start covering your fucking bases now because i say anyone tied to any of those fucking lists it's like it's not good you sure. better come out and say uh 100 i had no acknowledgement of this of any sort this is my transaction this is what was transpired yeah, I so. think you better hope you have receipts. Yeah, at that point, because yeah. like at this, it's like thirteen times, oh, seven times, whatever, whatever the fucking number be, any more than one, like what the fuck were you thinking? I would say any more than zero. <laughs> yeah, well, I think if you're showing up on the list enough, it's kind of like, eh, yeah. Well, that you know. 
We'll be right back. <laughs> we gotta go to an island. They promised free candy. <laughs> no. It's still in there. There's no free candy? Boy, what's so funny? What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Those are all the last days of war. And X is the last days of war because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back. What's up, guys? We're the last days of war. Uh, What's the first on the agenda? Shots. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Should I explain? <laughs> Brought to you by Preparation H. Well, no. <laughs> that uh, we took a small intermission, and during our intermission, one of these shots is the real shot. The other two are fakes. So, so we are to uh, all three take the shot, and all three try to no sell it. No sell it to see who actually got it, and then we vote to see who got it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. okay. We'll let Josh be the yeah, Good yeah. luck. Josh, <laughs> Josh is the judge of this contest. Well, take your shot with us, Josh. Here we go. Cheers. Best of luck. Salute. Yeah, in case you didn't know, I don't drink, so I'm actually cheating and doing a shot of my Bud Zero every time. <laughs> but I'm trying to see whose face. <laughs> well, you're a good bullshitter, so I'm not even going to look at you. Oh. Really? Well, is, that, is that your good side? That's what she wants. Looking at them, I thought it was going to be you. <clears throat> yeah. What do you think it was? What are you thinking? I think it was you. Was it you? It was? Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> was it in all three? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was like, it takes I was like, like, I was like there's like, no way you're going to be able to pull like, this, this off, throw them back into the mixer. That was, mix a, good, that was a good one, dude. Because that was like, we all, we all took shots. We all took shots. Cheers. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure that was a shot. It was Rob's idea. What? That's when he snuck back in. You're still outside. There it is. I had to get my smokes. Oh, shit. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. You guys, we were talking about uh, music earlier. Continue yeah, that Florida conversation people. right now. Let's do it. Music Let's it up. That, music it up. There was a Nick Nocturnal cover of In the Club that you uh, shared with us today, Danny. Yeah. And uh, I, for one, fucking hated it. <laughs> <laughs> like I did once, it was not for me. I'll tell you what, when the music first started, I was like, okay, this might be. It's a lot of screaming. The, and then the vocals came in and I was like, ah, not a fan. I'm, not, I'm, I'm good. I listened to the whole thing for you. I literally did that for you. I was holding a picture of you. This is for you. Nice. Fuck it. But he was burning it the whole time. It was weird. It was like burning a, picture of you. It was burning a picture of you the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of it, Danny? You know, I it's it's kind of one of those uh songs that I think you could kind of do any version of it, and it's just like it's fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Rob? What do you think? I don't know. Like I, I feel like with modern hip hop and rap, they have a consistent beat throughout the whole thing. So in order for you to do it and pull it off, like as a metal band, you're gonna have to get some intricate sounds. And yes, those will be amazing. But I don't know if everyone wants to hear three minutes of straight drills and hammers and <laughs> and pounding. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> drills don't don't get me wrong. That's Slipknot. I don't want to feel like I'm walking <laughs> into the Home road? Depot, Wait, you know? Don't we have a band? Don't we have a band? Don't we do that? <laughs> we, we do some kind of stuff like that, but I don't need to feel like... Nobody wants to hear nobody that. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit. Yeah. Hey, by the way, check out our new single. Well, anyways, go to Spotify. Symphony of Chaos. Let us know what you think. All streaming of platforms. All of our songs. No, but I'm just saying, like, you, you kind of have to... Uh, you got to reformat hip hop and you gotta you can't just like oh hey it's the same thing we're just gonna do the same sounds for yeah. four minutes straight I'm like nah you can't do that yeah. you gotta know how to be a musician about it and change it up and 
Like, listen to what System of a Down does with their covers. You know what I'm saying? Like, get inspiration from that. Like, hear how some different artists transcribe the hits that inspired them into what they made them to be. Like Heathens by The Last Days of War. Or Terrible Lie. That's right. All streaming platforms. What'd you think of it, Josh? Punk, punk, punk. <clears throat> I can't say I hated it like you. <laughs> <laughs> I got through it. I listened to it more than once just to see if I had a change of opinion. It's all right. I like Attila as a band, so I kind of knew what to expect. And I mm -hmm. follow Nick Nocturnal. So for what it is, it's, it's cool. I can't say I liked the original song to begin with. I wasn't an In The Club fan. So it was kind of like, at first, I didn't, I legit thought it was a new song. <laughs> You're like, please make it be a new song. <laughs> Until he started with the scream and then wait. You're like, that is what it is. I can picture 50 Cent with this. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Okay, well, let me give it a chance. And See, I, I thought the same thing, Josh. When I first put, when I saw it, I was like, in the club, huh? There's no way that it's the, in the club that I think it is. And then the fucking guitar comes in. Burr, 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 burr. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what it, it is. It totally is it. Yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't. There's a, a Soldier Boy cover that I... Can't stand either. Alec used to play the shit all the time. I, I want to say it was the band's called like Set My Friends on Fire or something like that. Or some, some like they, they did a cover of it, of Soldier Boy's You, the You, Crack That oh, Soldier Boy. Yeah. It's fucking horrible, dude. That's what it reminded me of. It reminded yeah. me of that. Yeah, I did not like that either. That brings back memories of driving to Texas with you on that Pop Ghost Punk album <laughs> over and over. Over and over. It's true. <laughs> Pop yeah. when it went that out the be, window. <laughs> yeah, pop it right out the window. That's all we had to listen to and then watching Workaholics and Basketball. Yeah. Or it wasn't Basketball. It was oh. that Will Ferrell one. Um, uh, oh, Semi-Pro? Semi-Pro. Semi yeah, oh, it was, it was Semi-Pro. My condolences. Uh, no, we did watch the whole first season of Workaholics, though. Basketball was Semi-Pro. Like, the level. Drop. I caught it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Because wow. I remember Semi -Pro's Andrew good, bought that and no, was like, why isn't. the fuck? You don't like semi-pro? Compared to basketball? I mean, if we're that's I mean, if you're comparing it to basketball. Yeah, it's just like it's, I'm I'm a basketball fan. You no, know, like I hadn't seen that movie until last year. Basketball? Why is my seat so close to his? <laughs> wow. It's like every <laughs> Say week, that? it's like you try to get me closer, and it's just like he draws me further <laughs> away. Ugh. So uh what do we got here? Uh uh Chinese chess scandal. Uh, There's a chess scandal. So apparently, uh, so this isn't more for the story. I want to talk about this be just because of what's written down there. I know, and Wait. I want you to read it word for word and tell Del me that you guys didn't expect this twist at the end. I just saw Chinese that. chess scandal. Delve into the bizarre cheating scandal involving Chinese chess champion Yan Chinlong. Yep. Mm -hmm who was accused of using a cheating device and later found defecating in a hotel bathtub. No. Why, what, how did they get there? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to know. Is like... Wh what? <laughs> I guess it's what you do after you win. Your championship? They I got caught and they scared the shit out of them, uh, literally. Yeah, the champion shit, dude. <laughs> that's, like, but like... Dude. So is that the scandal that he was caught cheating in a bathtub? Like, is that, so. <laughs> like, but he said he was he was caught using a cheating device. What I want to know is, did they find is out the, the cheating device when again? he was taking his shit? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, where does the how, che where did they go from cheating device to shitting in a tub? Well, but there's a part of this story that's like, how did they find him shitting in a bathtub? Like, I think they went to confront him about the cheating. Hey, bro, what are you they doing? They walked there? into his bath his bathroom and he's just dumping in the shower. Just shitting in the shower, like the movie Hall Pass. <laughs> Seen that? I don't really uh, when she shits, across, um, she shits on the she tub. Sneezes she sneezes and, and shits, like, on the oh, shits on the yeah. wall in the tub. And yeah. she's like, oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> like, That's rough. That is rough. Um, I just think it's a wild story just based on the way they reported it like that. Like, I don't understand. How yeah, I read that and it's really, really good. Yeah, man. Um, Maybe, hopefully it all pans out for the guy. I know? say <laughs> lock the door next time, bro. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I said, the, the biggest kicker here for me is how the fuck did you get caught yeah. shitting in your The fact they said they found recovery. him defecating there. Like, were they actively looking for him? <laughs> like, did he like die and they were like, he oh, missing? he died because he was shitting in the tub and fell or something? That's crazy, dude. How would you know if you 
shit in the tub and then fell or fell and shit in the tub because you fell. Nothing, that is true. That's when, when, you, when you die, everything comes out. But wait, wait, wait. None of that says he you know died. That? No, but I'm saying, no, like, we're saying, he's like, not what? dead. If, like, this if, guy's still alive. How, would you, <laughs> how did they get in there? They go in there because... He was yeah. taking his shit. Like, hey, Why stop it... taking your shit in my bathtub. I mean, yeah. you, I you should you know? do a wellness check on this guy. We think he was cheating. <laughs> so he just... fucking walk in and he I feel like it's nothing a phone call could have handled. You know? oh, like... <laughs> that's what it was. Like, essentially, you like. Just give him a call, man. Like, you cheated. Who what cares where the guy's shitting, dude? Like, hey, what, what's that sound in the background? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 is your ass a buzzer? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> The, 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 the whole cheating Oh, the cheating one. mechanism. Yes. He brought it back to the cheating mechanism. I like that. So he cheated from the bathroom while shitting. It says he was... Maybe he was that's what killed device. him. Maybe the no, cheating device like, vibrated, shocked him, and killed him. And then he fell in the tub and took a shit. <laughs> gotta be honest. And then they came in, and that's when they found him. They are like, <laughs> oh, this dude's shit in the story tub. says he dies. I, this is, this is giving us way more shit. material than I thought it would <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in the story says he dies. It just says they found him using a device to so cheat. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question. And then they found him shitting in a bathtub. Maybe <laughs> he was using this device. Maybe he was season. hammered like the whole fucking time. Like I was wondering what that was in my butt. <laughs> he lost his title because he was found to have pooped in the tub. So I'm assuming he did it at like the hotel where the event wait, wait, was. This was a disqualifying factor. Shitting in the tub disqualifies you from Nobody, being a chess champion. Bro, if you don't run that by me, it's fair game. <laughs> what if the toilet's all full? What business is it of theirs if he shits? Where in the I do tub, my business, he, dude. Right, you know? like, like what the fuck? Wait, what kind wait. of forfeit is this? Maybe, maybe the sink She's like, is oh. referred to as a tub over there. I don't know. Maybe he shit in the sink. Oh, uh, what the kind of shit was I that? I do that every time I check I feel, in. I feel like if he would have dumped in the tub, it just kind of just been like, my bad, move it to the fucking toilet. Are we saying that the negative aspect was him cheating or him dumping? The in negative the tub? aspect is he lost his title because he was pooping. I'm in the assuming tub. it's more the cheating aspect. Yeah. Like you Imagine I just won a chess tournament, I'll get fucking wasted and shit in the tub. <laughs> and then I lose my title. <laughs> Just imagine cheating hey, in the hey, World the Series. Hey, you know what, Cheng Long? Trash you people. fucking poop wherever you want, dude. Fucking do it. To Cheng Long. Cheng Long. Cheng Long, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and shit in the tub if you want, bro. You're a champion in our eyes, dude. Yes. For, for all of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> you didn't even mean it like that, but it was so good. <laughs> good point, bro. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> your ass? <laughs> In other news. In other news. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what are we doing here? Worst jobs? Worst yeah. jobs roundtable. So, Rob, last week, uh, Rob and I were talking on the way home. About worst about, jobs. It would be cool to do a roundtable of some of the worst jobs that we've ever had. Yeah. So, since you thought of it, you can go first. Give us some time to process this question here. Oh, I would say my worst job was being a lifeguard at a water park. Which water park was For, this? No, like we can't, I don't know if we should say names. Okay. But I, too, was a lifeguard at a wild park. Uh, at a, a water a park. Wild park. park. <laughs> a wild water park. <laughs> water park. Open this summer. <laughs> Close the same I time every winter. Go down the slide with the lions. <laughs> <laughs> wild uh, life water wild park. Wild water park. Uh, wild water park. <laughs> Fucking splash down into some crawling. Right next to the water treatment factory. <laughs> What's that smell? So continue, go on. I'm sorry. Uh, well, no, it was just, um, everything was heavily chlorinated to the point where uh, this one summer that I did work, I got sprayed by a skunk and jumped in the water to get the smell of to just rinse off. Like I just whoop. And so was, you were like doing the lifeguard thing and a skunk just cruised up and sprayed. Yeah. Yeah. So you got sprayed on the job or was it like you, you were you job. shitting in a tub when this no, happened? No. <laughs> Where was the tub? <laughs> there was no tub. But was there the was tub you were shit in. But there was like the whole pool where you the slides would dump out into and I just jumped into the pool right there and right out the other end. I was like, I don't smell. You jumped so in the pool where all the slide juice is? Yeah. So the slide juice, so all the pee in the water kills skunk kills scent. scent. The chlorinated the chlor piss pools that so were forming, yeah, the foamy piss pools that were forming at the bottom of the slides. I jumped in, just said, "Ugh, 
Have you guys seen the chlorine test? Have you guys seen that? Where they were like, they come as a shock to people, but chlorine has no smell. What you're smelling is its chemical reaction to pee. And so they tested this out where they put two buckets with water, <clears throat> added chlorine to one, chlorine and urine to the other one. And sure enough, this one had no smell at all. And this one had that smell that everybody recognizes as chlorine. So all you're smelling is piss. Where the fuck did they find clean water? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know. I call bullshit. They found clean water? Not they both smell fucking funny. But they? that's crazy, right? Like, yeah. That kind of grosses me out. So, well, life guard? Life guard. Yeah. That's right. it? You got one more? Oh, or you want to go round table? And then uh, you do you a keep, second we round. We keep going. We keep... Just shoot. Go for just it. Just shoot for it? For sure. Um, ah, man, dude. So one of my worst jobs, I would probably say was uh, probably when I worked at, uh, are we saying names of places? Like it matters? What are you gonna fucking sponsor me? It was at Target. I worked at Target. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know, they're a big oh, one. I don't know, man. Tag tar like, tar 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 Target gotta, in the company. I just got an email earlier today. I got an email. Audience just dropped way, out to half. Allegedly, by the way, <laughs> I allegedly worked there. But uh, I just hated it there, dude. My boss always had a problem when I wanted to leave early and fucking call off. You know, like, what the fuck's your problem, dude? Like kidding. most bosses? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> most bosses? <laughs> I, like, I just, I honestly, I, I, I make just me accountable. I was always one of the ones picked to unload the truck. And they were just like, if you weren't moving at the speed of light always, they would fucking like start yelling. It's like, bro, seriously? Yeah. Like, calm down. It's fucking boxes. It'll get there. You know? So what do you uh, do now? <laughs> that is funny. I still work with boxes. Can't get away. What about you, Danny? What you got? Um, I think I think one of mine would be, uh, I'm going to let you in a little secret. Oh, the shit. place he's talking about, I work there too. Okay. But we didn't know each other at that time. Mm -hmm. It's before we met. But we both worked at the same place at one point. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was at the same time. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, it, being a lifeguard was, it, was, it had, its, mm. had its moments. Yeah, it had its moments. But another, I worked for another company that was a real, they were just a bunch of pieces of shit. And one time I was supposed to, uh, they, I got a call at, uh, I don't know, probably 10 o'clock at night to come in the next morning at like 4 a.m. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm drunk. I'm intoxicated. You're like, if you don't come in, it's your job. And I'm like, cool. Fucking nice story, bro. <laughs> I kept drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm not coming in, dude. Like, that's it. So yeah. I lost the job. Yeah, that's some bullshit when they do that. Yeah, it was stupid, dude. Yeah. The guy, the guy, the, the supervisor was a real piece of shit. So yeah. he, didn't, he didn't deserve me anyways. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you, <laughs> What about, you, what about Josh? you, Josh? What you got? Probably a receptionist at a hair salon. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Got the job by default. Uh, my mom did hair, still does hair, but did hair for like... At the same salon? Yeah, for like 50 some odd years. <clears throat> and uh, we're friends with the owners. And it just so happened the receptionist was going to be leaving. And I was in between years at college that I had nothing to do. So it was only for like a summer, but having to work in an office, so-called office, like it was not just dealing with the customers. I also got roped into the lady who owned the salon, owned the properties around there. I had to go to the different properties and collect their rent and manage their money. And I wasn't even like 21 years old yet. Oh, shit. And I still had not as many tattoos, but I had to try and keep tattoos covered and I had to take out all my piercings at that time, I had lip piercings and eyebrow piercings that if I wore anything to work, the ladies were uncomfortable no. <laughs> because we still had like older ladies come in that I had to <coughs> greet them at the door, coffee, or if a phone call came from my mom, I had to call it Rosemary because like I had to answer all the phones and then transfer you to whoever check schedules and shit. So I learned how to work a day planner real good. <laughs> he's like, he's like, mom, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much like by default, somebody's calling you. You got another you got another one in you? We'll go one more round with it. Shitty job. Uh I once worked at the burger stand at the ballpark for one summer. Oh, that's that sounds miserable, dude. Not gonna lie. Like I, yeah. It's it's not as bad as like everyone thinks, like it's the grease and everything. I'm like, yeah, you're teenage years and you should be around hot oils and greases and carcinogenics all going up in your face while you're trying to fucking clear your skin. Yeah, no, it's a perfect 
job for a team. Um, please sweat all over my burger. You know, <laughs> my chicken sandwich is delicious. I did, I, like I did a food concession thing for a summer at uh, for the boat drag races, and uh, that was fuck pretty miserable. It's hot. It's gross. Yeah, just yeah, not fun. I'm glad there's more of a health code. You know Nowadays. what I'm saying, like. Yeah, uh, they probably shouldn't be younger than 18 handling food. Yeah, I didn't do it for very long. Yeah. yeah. So for me, I, it's not so much that it was like a bad job or that like I hated it. It just, I just didn't like doing it, obviously. But like, it, it's, um, some of the, my best times are also working with this. My stepfather, when I was younger, he used to own a gardening service. And uh, then he ended up having an accident <clears throat> where they thought he wasn't going to ever walk again. Thankfully, he's okay now. Uh, and so my brother and I were, took over the routes and were doing it for him mm-hmm. for a while. And at the time, they had owned a restaurant as well. So I was like cutting lawns from sun up to sundown. And whenever we were done there, we'd drive to the restaurant and fucking work there as well. It was a lot. But um, just working in the sun from sun up to sundown, bro. Oh. That shit is fucking... What's wrong? Nothing. What happened? Okay. Yeah. No, man. But yeah, I did. Uh, so you didn't like gardening. So surprise, the Mexican didn't like gardening. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't so like he gets it. an apartment where he doesn't have a lawn. <laughs> Smart. But I just I fucking hated it, dude. It was the worst. Um, but I also enjoyed working with my brother and my cousins and my uncle. That was fun. Those, that's probably like what I got out of it. The most, you know. Just wish. Spending wish it was a bigger truck. <laughs> wish it was a bigger truck, dude. All of us in one, dude. So sucked. Josh, you got another one on you? Well, you looked at Danny. Oh, I thought, oh did, you, did you not <laughs> say why, one? Why yeah, because you like, piggybacked off of him. So. The food thing, too. Yeah. Did okay. You want to do that one? Um, well, I have one. I wouldn't really call it a job. Um, you heard of a fluffer? No. Nah, <laughs> even more depressing than that. <laughs> um, I did hospice care for my grandmother. Okay. For like three years until she passed away. So, mm, yeah. That as a job itself was shitty and sucked, but it was one of those me doing it. I still got paid for doing it, and we didn't have to worry about somebody else taking care of her. But the whole thing of like she raised me and then having to watch her go through um, that to rough, the very yeah. end was not something I wanted to do, but it had to be done. And I'm glad that we took care of it versus putting her in a home. Yeah. So, but as a job, that sucked. Uh, go ahead, Dana. Uh, have you guys heard of. Uh, Nomophobia. What is nomophobia? The uh, fear of being without a smartphone. Do you guys, <laughs> you're a nomophobia. Do you guys, uh, do you guys get anxious if you like leave your wallet or keys or phone or anything like that? Like uh, if you if you um, don't have it on you or you. Like, I think there's weird? a big difference. Yeah. I think there's a big difference in leaving it behind and losing it. Well, yeah, I'd be freaking <laughs> yeah, out if I yeah, lost yeah. it. Like, so so check this out. Let me give you let me give you a good one. I was I was at work one day and I was in a break room and my phone had fallen out of my pocket onto the floor and I needed to exit an area that was secure and I my ID was um in that. Yeah. So I got into a cart and got about halfway where I needed to go and went, Oh shit, I don't have my phone and realized it. And luckily, because if I would have left, I would have been locked out. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, there's a big a difference. But like, if I leave it somewhere and like go, I'm like, oh damn it, I don't have my phone, and it, it feels weird, right? Yeah, yeah. it feels weird. Yeah, it's. I mean, how often do you just see your, see yourself pull out your phone just to scroll through some shit just because you're sitting there, you know? Right. Yeah. So but yeah, I I don't like. It freaks me out if I know that like you said like you lost it. Especially if I think that I lost it at work because I'm like, well, I'm never going to see that fucking phone again. You know, like someone's just going to take it and that is what it is. Yeah. So um, mostly just in those type of scenarios, it kind of fucking, I'm like, oh, fuck, where the fuck's my phone? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I got, I, got a, I got a fun phone story. So <laughs> wait, <laughs> hold what on. You do you do about this fun <laughs> so phone I'm, I'm story? At, I'm at this place I work and an employee comes up into an area where where uh, we worked and says, hey, I found a phone, right? And hands it to this other person I work with. So the dude gets into it and starts, you know, looking for it in it. And he's like, whose is this? I'm going to go take it to Lost and Found, right? And the phone rings. 
And on the other line, it's somebody talking about their official from the U.S. government and that the person that had that phone uh, works for the government and that there's sensitive stuff on it and it needs to be wiped like right now. And then went forward to tell them that this person uh, works in like nuclear stuff and Mm -hmm. that there may be an issue with... (laughs) Yeah, so this dude's like, fuck, this employee just walked up and handed me this fucking phone, and now, holy shit, I'm on the phone with the government. And he's, like, wiping shit. And I'm sitting there like, thanks, bro, I'm going home, dude. Like, I'm clocking. I don't want anything to what do with this. What city was this in? This was in uh, Anaheim. Allegedly. California. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's, that's where all the <laughs> nuclear codes were at. We're in Anaheim, but we had to wipe them. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> That just sounds like some dude lost his fucking phone and doesn't want to. Well, and the like, funny part was, is it happened to a guy at work that was just like prone for like kind of like fuck. I'm like, gonna I walk got, you through here to erase my Broke phone. this and did that, like, yeah. And then that, you know, like that was just a story that that is in that guy's like history at my work that I worked at, and it's it's just a funny story. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that person got a shitload. Fucking for leaving their phone behind. Does it weird you out if you if you lost your phone? No, I've actually watched my phone fly off the hood of my car on the freeway. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, we were helping my wife's brother move and not paying attention when we were taking some furniture out of the truck. I took the phone out of my pocket because I didn't want to break it. I left it on the hood of my car and it sat right where the windshield wiper is. Mm. Got dark, backed out of the driveway. It made it three blocks, three left turns. Did not fall. The minute I stepped on the gas on the freeway, where's my phone? (laughs) Went over my windshield, flew back. I got off the freeway, came all the way back around. By the time we came back, it was was going to be in pieces. Yeah, it was on the 10 freeway. Did you guys hear about that fucking airplane that the uh, door came off? Yep. And two two phones fucking flew out and they landed and they're fucking, they're fucking totally fine. 16,000 feet. Yeah. They They survived. Yeah, that's crazy. Your phone didn't survive falling off a car, but those fucking phones flew off my Tacoma, not even 10 feet. Done. Damn. That's crazy that it uh, felt. You said somebody got their shirt ripped off in the Yeah, plane? according to the news, yeah, somebody on that plane got their shirt, their shirt I ripped feel off. I feel good. I'd be fucking like, right there, and then my fucking shirt comes off. I'd be like, fuck I you, really, saw, I saw a video of people. <laughs> oh, that kind of party, huh? <laughs> I saw people sitting in the seats and the doors open. I'd be fucking Yeah, that was it. weird. Like, Rob's like, it's a third nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's not a ball, it's a nipple. Don't worry about it. The shirt flies off. We were talking about nipples earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that didn't make the podcast. We were talking about nipples earlier. Uh, <laughs> we talk about some weird shit. Uh, yeah. You think we talk about weird shit on here? Yeah. You think your nipples are weird? Often. Send them to our email address. <laughs> link below. <laughs> Click link follow. Send us your nips. What? <laughs> Isn't that what we're doing? No, send your third nipple. Third nipples. Third nips in or the comments. Go. Whatever you got. First you got or second yeah. ones are fine as well. <laughs> Rob's always talking about a third boob, right? That's our question of the week. <laughs> Do you have a third nipple? Yes or no? Well, but I don't think most people know what the nipples are. You know. Okay, what I'm so saying? Rob's like gonna everyone, go into great detail now as to what can. What is, but there's there's an actual nipple line for the male or uh, uh, mammal. Sorry, <laughs> male mammal. Mammals. Mammal species. They have a nipple line that runs down. So you have a nipple line from the chest, from does. the chest pubes down to the ball throw. So you may have a mole that you think is a mole, but if it's within this line, there's a strong possibility you might have an extra nipple. What if you had a nipple on your wiener? A nipple or a wiener? Nipple, nipple on your wiener? Nipple, nipple on, on your wiener? wiener. <laughs> on your wiener? Nipple on your wiener? What would that mean? Uh, I think that's an STD. <laughs> bro, that's not a nipple. Genital warts. That's Sorry, a, bro. It's warts. Yeah. Make you a um, <laughs> stuck on that one. Maybe a dickle. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a Bro, dickle. you saw that joke uh, working in his head, dude. That shit was working in real time, bro. Because there was one that was like, uh, I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> so I had to throw that one back and then it was like, throw that one out instead. Oh shit. Did Fuck you see on. this Australian man? No. Which escaped one, a crocodile attack by biting its eye. Is it Crocodile Dundee? 
If that's not Paul. Is this oh, Florida yeah. as well? It says Australia. Me. Australia. Oh, you said Australia. My bad, dude. You got to be, hey, I man. mean, biting the fucking guy. God, How the fuck did he get his eye? <laughs> I never see her there. <laughs> See Jamie there. <laughs> All I saw was her face. She's like, "Oh shit!" Welcome to my life, bro. <laughs> Told you my wife's little. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Just a fucking floating head. Sorry. You think you could bite an alligator in the eye? If it was fucking chomping me down, dude, I'd fucking tear into whatever the fuck I could, right? Yeah, I just I just think that that's pretty incredible considering like how was the alligator biting him if he bit the alligator? That's what I want to know. How did he get a hold of his eye? Fuck, I know. You know their head is. Yeah, it had to have been like he was getting. Bitten I don't want to be anywhere arm. around alligators or crocodiles. He's probably getting bit in the leg, and, and just, the, bite just did a sit up and bit his eye. Bro, if we had to rely on the sit up for me to live, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I love you guys. And with that, <laughs> with that, you guys, this has been the last days of war cast. We're here to see the California based band, the last days of war. Do us a favor, check out the links in our bio. It helps us all tremendously. Give us a subscribe, give us a like. We'll talk to you guys later. Don't sit in tubs.